Is your 3D printer's power cable actually grounded despite it having three pins? We're going to go over how to check this and what you should do if yours isn't. Stay tuned! If you've hooked up a 3D printer, you'll know that they always come with a power cable that looks like this. Typically, you have three pins, you'll have the two line and neutral connections, and your earth ground. That's what this plug is. On the other end, you have the three pin C13, or also known as a C14 connector, in case you guys are wondering what this was actually called. These are commonly used on 3D printers, and more commonly used on your computers and monitors even. Now, I have two cables here. One is from the CR20, which is a little more robust, and the other one came with my Ender 3 that I purchased from Amazon a little while ago. What led me to look into this was a message from my brother saying that his Monoprice i3 Mini was having issues, and he couldn't explain why. He was having inconsistent bed leveling results with his Easy ABL kit, and he was also just having a lot of other weirdness on the machine. He decided to chase after it and sent me a picture with a multimeter and it being open when he tested the ground connection. So we're gonna go over how to test these cables. If you have one that you test and it doesn't have a ground connection, you're gonna wanna throw it out and go buy a proper cable. So we have two cables here for comparison, the CR20 and the Ender 3. Now, I do want to preface this by it could just be the luck of the draw that I got this with an Ender 3 and this with a CR20. They probably use multiple different vendors for these cables, and this goes for any printer manufacturer, not just Creality. I want to make that very clear before some people started getting all upset. The point is, I'm putting this video out so you can test your cable and know if you have a safe power cable or not. Because if you do not have an earth ground and something malfunctions, the electricity is going to have nowhere to go except your body, which can lead to electrocution, which can lead to death. So this is a very serious thing and something it takes you only a few minutes to test with and a cheap multimeter, which is what we're going to be using, is about $10 on Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description below of a cheap one I personally have and I use it all the time. It works great. We have a cheap multimeter here and our two cables and it's very simple. This is going to be a pretty quick video. All you're going to do is on your multimeter, you're going to have a dial typically and you're going to have this little icon, which is a diode if you're familiar with electrical signals. And we're going to turn that to that setting here. And you want to test to make sure that your multimeter is working. To make sure it's working, you want to make sure that your connections are correct. You're going to have your black to COM. And you're going to have your red to the V ohm MA. Now yours may look different. You don't want to have it on this side. Typically, you want to have it on your measuring side. Now to test to make sure your meter is working, just take your two probes and touch them together. It should read zero if your meter is working. Now, to test your ground, you're gonna take the one end, it doesn't matter which one, and stick it into the center one here. Now, this is your earth, and you got your line and your neutral. And on this plug, you can actually see it's labeled E. So I'm gonna stick this probe in here, and then I'm going to touch the red wire to the ground. And you can see it reads zero. So this cable is good to use. Now, you can also test the other cables here by putting it in the other lead and testing that so that one's good and we're going to go ahead and test this one and this one's good so this is a good cable now we're going to move through the cable that could give us problems and could kill us if we have an electrical issue that's the most important part let's just be honest so as you can see here again this one actually has labels line neutral and earth and you can see there are metal contacts in this plug so i'm going to put this in here and i'm going to put this across here and there's nothing absolutely no reading let's go ahead and test the other two now these will probably work there we go and this one will probably work and since this cable is garbage i'm going to show you guys what's inside here so i've got my junk cable here and we're going to see what it's made out of so i've got my junk cable here and what I'm going to do is cut off the end. Take my snips and cut it. And strip it. And the funny thing is, there is actually a ground wire here. But it's very thin. And let's see here. I mean, this is a really junk cable. You can see how thin this cable is here. 
this doesn't work. So let's see now where the fault occurred, whether it's in the plug or the one that goes your printer. So in this case, we're getting a reading here. So let me strip this. Oh, look at that. There's no wire in here. <laughs> There's actually no wire in here. That's amazing. I, that would that would be why this cable doesn't work correctly. So there you go. There's no wire in this. If I pull this off, you can see there's wire. There's absolutely no wire in here. If I strip this, there's a little bit there, but let's see. Oh, okay. So I pulled off a little more insulation than there was actual wire here. And that would be our point of failure is that the wire they used to make this cable actually was not correct. One thing I want to show you guys is the picture that prompted me to make this video. I had suspected these were issues before, but now that we have visual confirmation and I just found a bad cable in my own stash, I wanted to make this video to protect everybody. Now you can see here in my brother's case, his actual cable only has two conductors in it. There's not even a situation where this cable was just faulty and there was no wire in part of the end but his is actually a misrepresented cable. So you can see here, he's testing it and it's completely open. And you can use, you can see here, he is using the resistance feature, which works just fine. If it is reading resistance and it reads zero, that means it's working. In this case, he's showing an open connection. That means this cable is faulty. Hopefully this video was helpful and explained why you need to check your grounds. These cables are very cheap that are coming with these machines and I am going to be testing every single one I get from here on out because not having ground is dangerous and if you're using some of our products like the Easy ABL that need to have really good power coming from the machine, an open ground is going to screw with that. So hopefully this video is helpful and thank you guys for watching and happy printing.